I'm going to go ahead and get started with the traditional uh, palm trees that we talked about, the sable palms. And I'm going to do it basically as a group of palms together so you can see how that works. I'm going to take, in this case, my 3 quarter inch uh, watercolor flat brush. I'm going to mix up mainly some dark green, in this case my hooker green. I'm going to mix up some of my lighter green. I'm going to have some of my uh, yellow ochre. So let me go ahead and get started on this with the palm fronds. I'm going to simply take my brush and I'm going to start putting in palm fronds. Now be very, very careful that you try to avoid painting what we call pinwheels. Make sure that your palm fronds go in all different directions. In this case, I'm going to put in a little bit of my lighter green. I'll add even a touch of yellow to even lighten that up a little bit more. Now what I'm going to do, I mentioned to you I'm going to continue on and paint this as a group of palm trees. So I'll come in and overlap some of this color. It will wash in together. Don't worry about that. But I'm always thinking in terms of a palm frond. So just continue on painting. I'll go back. I'll get a little bit more of my dark color uh, green. I'll put that in. And then I'm going to come up a little higher and put another palm tree in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my round brush. I would suggest that you bring down some of that color that is in fact in the palm trees itself. I'm going to take a little bit of my ochre color and I'm going to pull some of that color down also. Now what I want to do is I want to bring that color down so that they don't all end at the same level. I'll have some a little shorter. I'm going to just show you how I would paint a um, sort of a shadow effect underneath the palm trees itself. Now what I'll do is I'll let this dry a little bit and then I'm going to come back and we'll add more definition. Now let me go ahead and get started on the coconut palm. About the same idea with the palm fronds, but just a little bit more detail in the, in the traditional palm tree such as this. And I also want to be sure that I change my color again. You don't want them all just one color of green, obviously. In this case, I'll use a little bit of my ochre and change color again on this particular uh, palm tree. At the top, I'll need to have some of these palm fronds going out the top. And again, I don't want to paint pinwheels, so I'll paint these palm fronds going in all different directions. Make sure you change color often. You don't have just a green palm tree. Then what I'll do is I'll come in with my round brush again, and I'll paint in the tree trunk. So what I want to do here is come in, and this one I'm going to curve just a little bit. I'm going to use a little bit of the green that's already in the palette, and then we'll curve this particular tree trunk around. This is very typical of a coconut palm. Put in a couple of coconuts here in the bottom on the ground, nothing fancy. And then what I want to do is I'm going to take just a moment, I'm going to dry this particular illustration because I want to show you how I can add some finishing touches on these particular palm trees. So give me just a moment, I'm going to grab my hair dryer. Now make sure this is completely dry before you proceed, and my painting in this case is completely dry. It's very important because I'm going to be putting a darker color on here, and I don't want to have that color fuse in with wet color. What I want to do at this point is I'm going to take some of my darker green, and I'm going to add some layering to my palm tree. So I'm going to take a little bit of my hooker green deep, a little bit of my ultramarine deep, and get a nice rich color. Then what I want to do is I'm going to come in and I'm going to suggest, in this case, some additional palm fronds or some layering in those particular palm trees. So I'm going to come in, I'm going to take just a moment, show you how I would finish out these particular palm fronds using my round brush in this case, just to give you an example of what these palm trees would look like. May not do it to all of these palm trees because I want to show you also on the coconut palm how I would do that. Then I'll take just a little bit, I'll put just a little bit on the tree trunks, just to give you an example there. And that gives you an idea of how I would complete that. Now let me come over to my coconut palm, and I'm going to do basically the same thing over here. I'm going to put in an area of some darks. This will help give a more realistic look. Continue along like this, adding some darks to it. Now again, I'm not going to do all the palm fronds for you, but I will show you how I do a couple of those. And then in the tree trunks, we also want to do basically the same thing. We want to have some shadowing in the tree trunks to give the appearance of, uh, of uh, a roundness to it. But just to give you an idea, some areas light, some areas not as, as light, some areas a little bit darker. We've got our coconut palms on the ground. We'll give them a little bit of a shadow effect. So we've got a couple of coconuts. Put even a couple of little shadows underneath them. 
couple of little shadows underneath the palm tree here, a couple of little shadows under this palm tree over here, or area of palm trees. And that basically is how I would paint my palm trees.